everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today as you can see from my face we're going to be doing this really pretty smoky eye that I've got going on right here. I've been really inspired by the purples and the golds lately and kind of like that sunset smoky eye so I wanted to do a look like that. <laughs> Anyways yeah I hope y'all enjoy as always and if y'all want to learn how I did this look just keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's get it going. The hair is going up. That means it's serious. It's getting serious, and we are going to start with our spooky eye. Okay, so I have a vision in my head that I'm trying to go for today. I have this, like, really pretty gold purple kind of sparkle smoky eye um, that I'm going to try to do. So... Let's get into it and hope it turns out like my vision. So the eyes are primed um, and obviously I have my face and everything on. I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever HD powder. It's just a white powder and I'm going to set that under my eyes so my makeup doesn't get ruined when I'm playing with the dark kind of shadows. So I'm just going to grab and then just with a really dirty beauty blender that I have, um, I'm just going to press this under my eye area nice and messily this will just help with any of the fallout we got going on with the dark shadows and won't mess up the pretty makeup you got going on okay now we are ready for some eyeshadow okay so i'm gonna go in with the anastasia beverly hills self-made palette first i'm gonna take a lot of different colors from a lot of different palettes this is kind of it is unnecessary but i'm a little bit extra <laughs> um and just kind of try to use as much as i can but totally you can use it from i mean any palette you have you can totally recreate this look so anyways i'm gonna quit babbling i'm gonna go in with this um, palette right here. I'm going to take this color called Sherbert. It has a little bit of shimmer into it um, and usually I don't go in with a crease color with any shimmer in it but um, we're really not going to be able to see this color at the end. It's just going to kind of help with the transitioning and everything like that and I'm kind of going a little bit for like a sunset kind of eye as well so um, this will kind of help just pull it all together in the end. So I'm just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions with that color. And this is a Morphe M441. I'll be sure to link everything that I mentioned down below, just like always. I'm just going to blend, blend, and blend. So once you have that orangey color in the crease, we're going to go in with a purple color. And I'm going to take, we'll go with this one first. This is the Carly Bible palette. Um, this is a super cheap and amazing palette from BH Cosmetics. Oh God, I'm going to get stamped my hands in the palette. I'm going to go in with this purple shade at the top right here. And we're going to go ahead and put that into our outer V and our outer crease. And this is a Morphe M433 brush. And this is kind of like a flat um, shader brush right here. It's going to really help to kind of get in that crease of the eye super easily. And yeah, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to dunk my brush in that color, tap off the excess, and we're going to go right in. So I'm going to just concentrate on the outer edge right there. And we're going to just kind of push that into the eye first. So I'm kind of tapping and rubbing back and forth just a little bit. And then once you get most of that product on the outer corner of the eye, then I'm going to take whatever is left on my brush and kind of push it forward in the crease just like that. And as you can see, like I'm stamping this, the round part of the brush literally in my crease and going back and forth using a pretty heavy hand. All right, so once you have that purple starting to go on the eyes, we're going to just kind of deepen it up and get it a little bit darker, a little bit darker, so that means it's really nice and kind of blended. So that means I'm just going to go in with the next color right next to that purple shadow that we used first is a little bit of a deeper plum. And then on a little bit more precise of a brush, this is just a tapered um, kind of blending brush. This is from Sigma. This is the E45. I'm going to go in with that and then just make that a little bit deeper right in the outer corner of the eye, really focusing um, right at kind of like my lash line. So 
I'll show you what I mean by that. So again, just start by a little bit pressing motions. You see all this fallout that's happening? I don't know if you can see it, but it's a good thing you protect yourself. But anyway, so and then why I love this brush so much is you can really kind of, I mean, y'all know this by now, I love to kind of wing out my eyeshadow. And you can very lightly with the lightest hand um, take whatever is left on your brush and that little tapered bristle at the end and just kind of work your way outwards and it creates a really pretty kind of tail with that purple and then with whatever is left on the brush I'm just going to kind of blend it out and just fill, fill it all together. Okay, so now we're going to take a break from the outer corner of the eye once you have that purple kind of where you want it. We're going to go in with a gold shadow. Honestly, any gold will do because we're going to layer over that with some glitter. Um, but I'm just going to go in with the Carly Bible palette, the gold from the palette right here. And just with, honestly, any brush. You can do it with your finger if you want to. Just take some of that gold and I'm just going to put that on the um, inner corner of my eye. Kind of blend it into the purple. I'm kind of trying to work fast here. My camera's about to die. Okay. So once that gold is slapped on there, we're going to go in with the fun part. And we're going to go in with some glitter. So this is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. This is actually a liner, their heavy metal liner. But I've been really loving using it for, um, like, your eyeshadow or <laughs> your lid color your lid pop of color anyways so I'm just gonna take this I'm just gonna put this all over your eyelid it will take a couple times you have to go over it once or twice but it is so pretty once you have that slapped on the lid so just go over it a couple times and you do have to let it dry so once you start putting this on kind of keep your eyelids down like this <laughs> right super easy just let it dry okay so while that is kind of drying i am looking at it and i think i want a little bit more purple in the outer corner so i'm done with the carly palette i'm going to go back in with the anastasia self-made palette i'm going to take this pop of purple right here it's called deep purple and um, with a little bit of a buffer brush, I'm going to go in with the Morphe M321 and go in that color and just deepen up that purple a little bit while wow, this is continuing to dry. Okay, sorry y'all. My camera battery died and... So we're starting over. Um, what I did while y'all were gone was I was saying that I needed to, or I was going to put the, this black color in the outer corner of my crease. So I did that and then I just added mascara and that's all I've done. That's all you've missed. So we're going to go ahead and finish out my bottom lash line and lips and then we'll be good to go. So for the bottom lash line, I'm going to take the Morphe M432 brush. I'm going to go back in with the Anastasia self-made palette. And we're going to go in with this chocolate, or chocolate, the spirit rock color um, one more time. And I'm just going to put like one dab of that and then I'm going to go right underneath my lash line with that nice and tight. And I'm really just focusing this on the outer corner of my eye um, just so it will kind of lift the outer corner a little bit. Alright, and I'm just going to go in with that same sherbet color the, from the very um, beginning color that we used and I'm just going to use that to kind of blend out that um, spirit rock color. So just give it a nice blended effect and make the eyes look more open and wide. If you wanted to go even further you can take a black in the waterline or a white in the waterline to kind of open up the eyes. I'm just going to leave it at this and I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lash line and I will be back with some lips because we have so much going on with the eyes I thought about doing more of a purpley kind of lip but then I'm like mm, maybe a nude so I think I'm gonna go for the nude <laughs> so I'm gonna use three different lip colors today um, or three different lip things I'm gonna go in with the Revlon color stay lip liner and rose I really really love this lip color it's kind of like 
matches your lip color um, so it's really easy to kind of overdraw and make it not look so fake looking um, if that makes sense so I'm just going to line my lips with this and once the lips are lined I'm going to go in with my ride or die lip color that goes amazing with everything this is the NYX matte soft lip cream in Abu Dhabi I've talked about this literally in every video and I'm sure y'all are so sick of it but I'm going to use it so I'm going to hit it all over my lips It'll kind of bring out that peachy color we have in the eye look a little bit. And then last, I'm going to put on the gloss to go with this eye look. And this is the Matt or the Marc Jacobs Gloss in Sugar Sugar. These glosses are super moisturizing and very, very pigmented. So they have that like pepperminty kind of feel. So it's kind of a lip plumper as well. It's really nice. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, so once you have that lip color on, this is basically the finished look. You let your hair down and you just work it. I really like how this look turned out. It really did turn out like the way I wanted it. I wanted kind of like that very sunset kind of smoky eye. Um, this would even be really good for a prom look. I know that's kind of not here yet, but it's it's coming. So um, I think this will be this would be a really pretty pretty look. Again, as always, if y'all decide to do this look, please show me and let me know and like tag me in your pictures. Um, I would love to see them. And yeah, so thank y'all so much for coming back this week. Sorry it was a little bit of a later video, but I'll be back next week and I will see you then. Bye.